Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and we're talking about iOS 13 beta 6. So Apple surprised us today and nine days after the release of beta 5, we have a new update for iOS 13 beta, iOS 13 beta 6. So in this video, I will talk about the new features and changes of this new beta of iOS 13. Starting off with the control center, now we have a new toggle on the control center. You go to settings and you go to the control center section and you go to customize control center. Right here we'll find dark appearance. Now we will have this new toggle that allows us to turn on or off the dark appearance from here. Now another change on beta 6 is that Apple has actually removed the accessibility shortcut that allowed you to turn on or off the dark mode and has replaced it with this toggle on the control center. Also if you force touch on the brightness slider you will notice an, a change here, a small change. Now you have appearance dark and then if you tap right there it will switch between on and off. Before this used to be apparent dark and light. Now it's just dark and it says on or off. Also when 3D touching on icons on the home screen, now there is a new animation like you can see the fade away of the icons, that's a new animation. It's basically hard to notice it, but if you have two devices, one on beta 5, one on beta 6, you will notice the difference when tapping there. Also you can see a change right here. On the background of the folder you can see like the folder is more saturated and it will take the color of the wallpaper behind it. There is another change on the volume slider. Now Apple had changed this on beta 5. They put 32 steps on the volume slider and now it's back to 16. That's a weird change. I don't know why they're doing this but now it's 16. It used to be 16. It was on beta 5, 32 and now it's back to 16. Also another change right here on the status bar, we used to see that the 4G, the LTE signs on the status bar had been way bigger on beta 5, now they have been changed and back to normal. When first opening the photos app on beta 6, you will see a new splash screen that will basically here highlight some of the new features of the photos app. Now when selecting multiple pictures on the photos app, you can still peek into them like this even if they are selected. There is also a new splash screen on the App Store. Once you open the App Store, you will see this splash screen here that talks about the Apple Arcade and also the app updates. A bug that I had noticed on iOS 13 Beta 5 was that the lock sound of the iPhone would change based on the sound of the media, but now it's, that's not the case. It will actually now change with the ringer. So that has been fixed and it's very welcome. So that is it for this video guys, these are some of the new changes and features of iOS 13 beta 6. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.